are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports supporters, we've been telling you guys for a while now. The NBA is dead. The NBA's best days are long gone. People like me have not watched the NBA since they actually pulled that stunt in the NBA bubble. When they started kneeling for the national anthem in 2020, in the name of Marxism, it turned half of the fans off. And the NBA has been struggling ever since then to actually get people to turn on the television. Half of the fans are gone. They're not coming back. LeBron James has done immense damage to the NBA. I used to love the NBA, guys. I refused to actually watch a single NBA game because of 2020. Now, the style of play was kind of turning me off anyway, but I was still watching. But when they went full left wing marches, I was done. Guys, the NBA is dead. Last year, we actually saw where you actually had women's NCAA games in a tournament that were beating the NBA. That's a very, very bad sign, guys, that um, the NBA is dead. Dead. Now, the biggest uh, names in uh, college sports, actually the biggest name in uh, college basketball is actually Caitlin Clark. And I would just actually beat LSU to go to the final four. She put up 41. She was dominating. Guess what? A whole bunch of people watched her. They watched her. Now, would those people actually follow her to the WNBA? I'm not really sure. But I'm pretty sure the WNBA is begging for the ratings because that that brand is dead. I'm not even sure. If Caitlin Clark can actually move the needle of the WNBA. I mean, if she can't do it, guys, nobody can. Well, we got some news here on the ratings, and this is an embarrassment yet again for the NBA. So let's talk about it, guys. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member, member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. We appreciate the support. So here we go. Look at this, guys. Iowa and Caitlin Clark's victory over LSU trounces NBA playoff ratings. And tell you the truth, guys, it wasn't even close. Iowa and LSU blew out the NBA. Now, to be fair, they beat um, MLB and some other ones as well. But the problem is the NBA has seen a significant drop off in viewership. They haven't recovered. The NFL has recovered. I mean, the uh, Kansas City uh, Chiefs uh, Super Bowl, wasn't that the most watched uh, Super Bowl ever? Yeah. Now, of course, Iowa, Caitlin Clark, they're not beating the NFL. The NFL is just a behemoth. But um, it says here, this week's Iowa LSU game featuring Iowa's star player Caitlin Clark earned the biggest TV ratings in women's college basketball history. According to the numbers, ESPN drew more than 12 million viewers for Monday's Elite Eight matchup, according to the Hollywood Reporter. I was 97-87, victory over Louisiana State, averaged 12.3 million viewers on ESPN, the largest viewership ever for a women's college basketball game. The previous record was set over 40 years ago. When a 1983 title game featuring star player Cheryl Miller earned 11.83 million viewers on CBS. The paper added that last year's LSU Iowa game only drew 9.9 million viewers across ABC and ESPN2. And that actually Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese, 9.9 million that destroyed the NBA. But it's even worse now, folks. It's even worse. The game was also a huge ratings winner across all shows on Monday, being the second most watched show NCIS 
which earned 5.9 million viewers. Indeed, Monday's game uh, racked up a list of impressive top honors. Now, check this out. According to Front Office Sports, the game was the most viewed ESPN college basketball game of any kind and even bigger than the viewership of every MLB, NHL, MLS, and NBA game except for one during last season. But what actually sticks out here is how much the NBA has declined. The NBA used to beat Major League Baseball, NHL, MLS easily. They have been surpassed now by women's college basketball. This is what makes this so bad. Now, check this out. To put this in perspective, last year's uh, average NBA playoff game drew 5.47 million viewers. That's it. Our LSU, 12 million. They pretty much beat the NBA by like 7 million viewers right there. Yeah. So with our LSU drawing 12.3 million, the Caitlin Clark uh, led Hawkeyes and Andrew Reese led Lady Tigers more than doubled the average viewership of the NBA's most important games. Yeah. Yeah. Women's college basketball is more popular than the NBA. That is just crazy, man. It is crazy. Now, Caitlin Clark is actually moving on to the WNBA, so it's going to be interesting to see uh, how the viewership actually holds up. But Angel Reese, I believe, is still going to be there. And she is a star. She definitely is. But we'll have to see who the next star in the um, women's uh, college game is going to be. Because here, very, very shortly, Caitlin Clark is going to be gone. But this is a terrible, absolutely terrible sign for the NBA, man. Caitlin Clark is beating out LeBron James. Yes, I said that, man. Caitlin Clark is more popular in games than LeBron James. And it's not even close. It's not even close. I, I, if you would have asked me that 10 years ago, I would have thought you were crazy. But it's not crazy, guys. The NBA is just that bad of a brand. Nobody wants to watch it. I mean, the the worst finals ratings of all time has happened in the last four years. They haven't recovered. The worst NBA finals ratings of all time, I believe, actually happened in the last four years. Ever since that bubble. They have not recovered. That's how bad it is, man. But also LeBron James said, uh, yeah, the clock is ticking. He's he's just about done. That's one domino that's going to fall. But Adam Silver must go. And also Greg Popovich must go. I can also throw Steve Kerr, Kerr in there as well. They're more concerned about politics than actually getting people to watch the product. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.